Over 60% of the Valorant player base is ranked in gold or lower, but most don't realize that good mechanics are probably the most important thing that you need in order to escape the lower elos in Valorant. The first section of this routine will be focusing on your dynamic aiming. Dynamic aiming is your raw aiming ability when making adjustments or flicks, and will also be optimizing our sensitivity while training our raw aim by using the Universal Sense Finder with Aim Labs plus wall aim training. This tracks your performance while aim training to help you find the most optimal sensitivity for you on aim labs and Valorant. This section of the aim routine, I've enlisted help from Cartoon FPS from Team Voltaic, who if you're looking into aim training, you probably should know who this is. But if you don't, make sure to check him out. All of his links will be in the description for you guys. And let's get right into it. First task we're going to be talking about is CG adjust click. This scenario has a bunch of different adjustments and it includes small and big flicks in many different angles. This is a good scenario to get acquainted with the feeling of precisely confirming your shots. After that, we got VT blink click Valorant. Reflex is very important in Valorant and it's good to be precise, but we need to do so in a defined time frame. Otherwise, we're going to miss our opportunity to shoot. This scenario is a mix of both consistent reactive small adjustments and longer flicks where a complete technique can be applied also in a reflex environment. After that, we got BT Adjust Shot Valorant, a scenario that encouraged fast initial flicks followed by a precise micro adjustment. It's a good task to start learning how to afford higher speeds with our initial flicks and also learning how to transition all that speed into consistent micro adjustments. After that, we got BT Berry TS Valorant. This is a scenario with isolated mouse movements without including click timing, where the idea is to explore higher and higher flick speeds while maintaining all that smoothness towards the end of the flick. Cartoon suggests to try to play the wall is lava with this scenario while having proper technique. After that, we got BT Rem TS. This task encourages maintaining control while executing adjustments more aggressive in speed in a short distance setting. After that, we got Pokeball Wide Wall 4 targets. This scenario will be a pain for super low sense players, and if you are an exclusively low sense player, you can consider skipping it. If not, it's an insane scenario to learn how to transition from really fast motions into really precise ones. Focus on technique and go as fast as possible while also maintaining your accuracy. After that, we got Micro 2 Spear Valorant Easy. Try to maintain a pace that feels slightly uncomfortable for this task while maintaining at least 90% accuracy. The idea is to develop confidence while doing fast, small micro adjustments. Over time, you can then go and switch to a faster and higher pace. After that, we got CG Adjust Click Micro 2T, similar to Micro 2 Spear Valorant, but this time it requires a little bit more attention to the micro adjustment part. Pay attention to the movement targets and adjust according to how it's moving. This scenario works as a small introduction to reading enemy movement while doing small adjustments. After that, we got VT Adjust Switch Micro Valorant Small. This task is a mix of speed and also executing a smooth, precise adjustment after the fast flick slowly tapping into more and more mouse motions on a micro adjusting environment. And finally, we got BT Micro Shot Valorant Easy. This scenario encourages a fast but precise micro adjustment with moving targets. The latter is one of the most useful and difficult to master skills in Valorant. For starters, we can aim slightly in front of the target as a small crutch. However, if you want to simulate a Valorant experience, evolve this technique and slowly reduce that gap between the crosshair leading and the target. And if you're one of the people that actually enjoys playing aim labs and has fun on it, there is some runner up tasks that we also have. First up, we got VT Cine Click Valorant or VT Cine Click Valorant Far. Either or is a good suggestion. We also have Minis HS Strafe Click. And finally, we got Cooler TAF. You can also throw these into the routine if you'd like to go above and beyond in training your aim. Also, if you are an Aim Labs Plus user, they do have practice scenarios for every map in Valorant for attackers and defenders on all of the sites on all of the maps. If you prefer a more simulated approach, which is supposed to help train your crosshair placement but after you've done with your training check out the data that you should have gotten now 
for your optimal sensitivity and then copy that sensitivity and then hop onto your Valorant client and input that sensitivity into your game before we start with the in-game portion of this routine. Aimlabs Plus also features a deathmatch option where you don't need to worry about campers. Run in any direction you want and bots will spawn and run towards you. Make sure while using Aimlabs to constantly check on the data of your universal sensitivity finder. I'd suggest checking it once every time you're done a training session since as your mouse control improves, a new sensitivity may become optimal for you. All of the links for the playlist or to get Aimlabs Plus or just to download Aimlabs in general for free will be linked in the pinned comment or description. So make sure to check them out. Now let's talk about passive aiming, which is again, a big part of Valorant. This is how I refer to aiming with good movement and good crosshair placement. So the first thing we are going to do is go to our crosshair settings and turn on movement error. This will visually show us when we're inaccurate due to us not stopping our movement at all times. I recommend only keeping this on while aim training as it can be quite distracting in real games. After that, place your viper wall in the range against the start button area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Turn on the viper wall and then just jump off the map in the range. This will give us a viper wall with unlimited gas that we can use to simulate a real game scenario and practice peeking around cover to improve our movement and our aim. Take your time with learning how to strafe effectively and going for one taps to work on your first shot accuracy. Do not rush the shots, just focus on peeking around the cover using only your A and D keys to get the hang of it. Once you feel you got the hang of it, go outside and start adding bursts while strafing to work on our burst strafing and our target switching as well. You should be actively adjusting your crosshair to the targets while strafing as you should already be doing in game. And when training your aim, we can't forget about spray control. Most people should be aware that the first seven to eight shots of your Vandal and Phantom will go straight upwards. So in order to control this spray, simply just pull your mouse down slightly while spraying and it'll look something like this instead. You don't wanna neglect learning how to control the spray since there will always be scenarios where it's optimal to spray, especially at the closer ranges. Once you think you've got the hang of controlling the spray, I would suggest practicing spray transfers. So what I'll do is I'll start spraying at one of the bots and simply transfer the spray while controlling it still to another bot. Again, this may seem complex at first, but overall it will help you a ton in becoming a well-rounded mechanical player in the long run. But after around 5 minutes of each of these tasks, hop into a singular deathmatch, not a team deathmatch. Since deathmatches are on the same maps you'll play in comp, you'll be able to not only focus on your movement, your raw aim, but your crosshair placement as well. When in this deathmatch, try to only go for burst strafes and taps while also being as accurate as possible. Remember, winning is not the goal, improving is. Losses are lessons and I'm very confident that not a single person who does this aim routine for 30 days straight will be stuck below gold. And just a quick reminder that the entire playlist will be linked in the pinned comment and description along with the link to get Aimlabs Plus in order to find your optimal sensitivity and just a link to download Aimlabs today. And if you think you need help improving your movement, a video of my movement guide should pop up on your screen now. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel a ton. And thank you guys so much for all of the support recently. I love you guys. Road to 300k.